start with to go to the 1866 when the Pope gave the picture of the icon to us in Rome with the command make her known throughout the world. Then when the first Redemptress came in 1906 they brought the icon or as it was called then picture of our mother of perpetual health. Now you have to move from 1906 to 1946. But everywhere we went in the missions, there was always a part about the Mother of Perpetual Help. And in, in Willow at that time, before the novena started, there was confraternity of our Mother of Perpetual Help, or as it was called, and Mother of Perpetual Soccer. And this was association of people with devotion to the Mother of Perpetual Help. Then, because of the war years, and the bombing, Americans were involved, as you know from your history. And uh, so when these American soldiers came, there were some of them were from Boston, they asked Father Nolte and Father O'Connor, who were the two left, why not start the novena? But they were a bit reluctant because they hadn't heard about it. In April of 1946, they went to the Archbishop and asked could they start the Novena, so he gave approval. So they started the Novena on May 13, 1946, in this church here that you have seen. And according to the reports, there was only 70 people present. I have tried to find out what time that Novena was at, but it, I'm not able to pinpoint, but I presume it would be somewhere at 5 o'clock. In those times, of course, there was no afternoon masses. All masses were said in the morning. So in the afternoon, it was a devotion. So they had the novena followed by benediction. The earlier version of the novena, as far as I can recall, both from Iloilo and Cebu, it was novena prayers and benediction of blessed sacrament. Then, they had this, they said, this was all in English. Then eventually, there was a demand that there would be one in Visaya. So they, they translated it, and they had one in Visaya, which was around 5 o'clock, and the English one was at 6.15. And that was just two novenas. But according to the history, after six months, they said there was almost 500 people attending both of these, I mean, put the two together, 500. Now, in the beginning, in the Iloilo, there was always, they didn't know when, what day to put on the Novena. But mainly in Iloilo, it was on a Monday, Monday. But when the Novena transferred to Manila and to maybe Cebu, they decided to put it on the Wednesday. So eventually, Iluilo changed to the Wednesday. So all of them were Wednesday. The reason I think for the Wednesday was, was more or less in the middle of the week. Because if you had the Novena, you had Sunday, and then you had Monday, it was too severe. So I think the, the fact they made the Wednesday. But now, of course, Wednesday is associated with Mother Perpetual Health. At that time, there was very no lay involvement except in choir or playing. So the priest was the one who led the prayers. When later on in the late 60s, when we had, there was permission given for after Vatican II, there was permission for afternoon masses. So that's where you began to have the novena coupled with the mass. Naturally, everywhere we went, the novena went. In the mission areas, that's where we also went. We brought the novena, we brought the booklet. It was through the missions that really the novena spread, not from the church, but in the in the mission. So, in the in in those years, you had this missions in Sagai, and that's where the famous uh, Mrs. Abelosa came into it because it was in her barn that they had this novena, and then they as a kind of thanksgiving pasalamat 
sa pasalamat to the for her kindness during the mission they gave her uh, a picture as which is called but the icon of the mother of the petrino sa baryo, siya na ang nagbatol. Uh, sa balayag yung paistar, isang natapos na ang ila misyon, uh, gintagaan na sa gift sa pare. Si Father Casey na remember ko kagang yan, to yung food. In fact, tagaan na siya sa icon sa Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Gin nag-sign gani, gin daw gin butangan nila dedication. Gin treasure ya gin na no, gift sa iya. In fact, ang ina nga image, ara gin na si center sa iya altar. Sang, ito ulit na kami di sa Bakulod, nag-transfer kami di sa Bakulod, gin dala niya man na ara na gyapon sa center sa iya nga altar why gina niya ginaano gara sa sariling tourist na gasimba kag halos talang talang niya mga pare sariling tourist kilala yagid yagid na uh, mga migo niya in fact ang collector sa sariling tourist ng tagaan niya ng uniform kay siling niya every Wednesday kung nagano dina Uh, maayubid niyo na ka-blue ang ilabayo. If I say mas of the family, I would say that the great inspiration I, I have as a priest, no, even up to now, was the uh, witnessing of life patrick and her love for her family, and her love for the church, and with her love for the people of God. No? And her devotion no, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, especially to the our mother of perpetual health. Because I would always uh, see her daily, actually, no? also going to church, wherever it is. No? Because their house is also near to the Redemptorist Church in Bacolod, I would always see na, uh, that he, she was always there no? with her chaperones and everyone who would come with her. And even if he, she would uh, do that, no? there's no miss, no? Uh, actually, in what she did. No? She was very faithful, actually in her devotion, especially in going to Mass every day. She lost her mother at the age of four. Since then, si Lolo nagbuhay binata, so si Nanay na ninguha para sa iya kaugalingon how to survive. Nag-stay siya sa iya mga aunties, na-transfer siya from one aunties to another. Uh, while ara siya sa iya auntie, ga-help ga siya sa balay, uh, ga-bulig siya kung ano ang, ang household niya, ano, nga ubra, like washing the dishes, cooking, tapos every Friday may ara na siya isa ka auntie na, na na may restaurant sa Sagay sa Vito inang nagabulig siya as a uh, food server she got married at the age of 16 si tatay naga uh, naga as a teacher sa among na barrio after sa ma, ma off siya sa iya klase, the sideline siya as a driver. Though, pangpasahero nga jeepney from our barrio to to the town. So, while the wait na siya sa mga pasasang jeepney nga mapuno, the sideline pa gina siya nga mag-work siya as a cargador. Tapos, uh, si nanay naman, wala lang gasalig, wala gasalig lang siya sa kay tatay, In her way, in her own way, nagapangita man siya sang negosyo nga iya, any negosyo nga iya mahimo para mabulig niya sa ila income, para mabulig niya sa kay tatay, magsagot sa ila kabataan. Nanay was very enterprising, bisan anong nalang uh, klase sang negosyo, ginasudlan niya like, 
magbaligya siya bugas, baligya sa tabako, baligya sa kung ano-ano lang na pwede niya mabaligya para manigosyohan niya. Nakuha man na namun sa kay nanay, ang iya pagka-enterprising bala, do na-influence kami niya sina nga, nga bisan ano lang, pwede mo mahim, kung imo gitutukan imo, Ibrahim. And then, ang imo ginapakaon sa imo familia, dapat halin sa imo pinangabulayan. Nag-realize namun na gali 
gusto din ang pagtudlo ni nanay sa amon na sa subong gina gin sumud gid namon ang iya gintudlo sa amon kapin pa mag ang devotion namon kay mama Mary na amo kinaging kwa namo kag ang iya Flores di Mayo hasta subong amon gid wala na namon kay untat kami na subong ang nagtake over sa iya ubra hasta sa mga bata kay la hindi kali kung malapit ka kay mama Mary kay damo kita na hatag ng mga ng mga blessing sa amon. Si nanay, nagdako nga wala sa isa ka iloy. Wala siya may nakita nga example nga iya sundun. Pero tumod sang iya faith, tumod sang iya pagsalit sa Diyos kay Mama Mary. Inang napadako ya kami, na nadala niya kami sa maay, na influence niya kami sa among religious life very close gig ang amon nga kwan sa sa church through sa iya pangamuyo kay mabatian ko na ko ka isa in one of our prayers nga ma-mention na siya Mama Mary tudlo ko kung paano maging isa ka iloy sa akong kabataan kung paano ko sila padakoon base sa inyo sa kag sa pagbuot sa Ginoo tudlogin sa amon nga ang pagdala sa pamilya kinanglan may ara respeto may ara love kag of course hindi pagdulaon ang pagtuo sa Dios sa tanan nga timpo ang inyo nga paghirupay ang ang closeness nyo updan nyo git sang pagpangamuyo ang ang amo man ang akon experience sa akong ginikan kung paano nila kami ginpadako, paano sila nag, nagtinguha para nga mapadako because we are eight in the family. Napag-graduate nila kami tanan. Ang ila influence, ang ila pagpadako sa amon, ang pag nila sa amon. Gusto ko man nga i- i-impart, gusto ko man amon ang akong sundon para pagpadako sa akong kabataan. Because nakita ko ang resulta sa amon. Kung ano kami subong, gusto ko ang akon, akon bata, ang amon kabataan, magsunod man. Kay maayo kami nga pagpadako. Gusto ko man nga sundon kung paano kami nila gin, gin padako. I think this was the, 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 the very focus of her life that her intimacy with the Lord in, in terms of her love for God, in terms of her how she was deeply uh, affectionate to the Blessed Virgin Mary, to the our Mother for Faithful Health. Actually, these were as, uh, the source of her integration, of how she, she brought this uh, love for God, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, also to how she would fairly, you know, uh, sincerely and charitably deal with her family. So that's, I think, the, 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 the relationship that she you know, uh, was able to witness, no? not only to her family, but to the people around. I will always see that uh, when there are people who need her help, especially to those who are sick, she would actually be to them. No? And people who uh, members of her uh, relatives who would die, she would also visit them. Even if how far no, is, is the place, no? how far the place is, she would always go there. No? Uh, just to, to to show her presence and of course charitably also bring anything that would help not the bereaved no? uh, members of the family. What I really experienced when I Patrick is uh, when I was at this already was her her presence no? she shows really uh, showed really how she cared. No? For anyone, I, I I myself experienced that from her too. that uh, she was not so thoughtful uh, and then very generous, very very charitable. Very generous with si nanay. Kapin pa sa iyo mga relatives. Wa di kami mina duman no, may makatulong sa amon mga relatives niya or mga pigahato ng mga nagapuli lang wala kita na. Si nanay. Uh, after sa death ni sa iya mother, 
nag-start na siya sa iya. Nag-transfer siya from one auntie to another. Kung sino niya nga relative para lang uh, to survive. Ang amo na karon nga ang iya mga paryente hindi iya gina malipatan. Kaginahambal niya gina sa amo niya inang iya mga paryente nakabuli gina sa iya pagpadako, pag, pag, pagpangabuli iya. Kaya so maabot ang time na ang iya paryente mapalapit lang sa iya bisa magbisita not necessarily mag magayok buli. Iya gina 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 amuma iya gina gina entertain in uh, Bato, Central Bato, she was able to actually donate so much no, for the construction of the, the, the church there, the, uh, the St. Truk uh, Paris in Bato. No. It was up to the family who really financed it no, and made it possible that it would be really an you know, no. uh, Despite of the thing that not only that they had to, to give in the finances, but also in actually visiting time to time, no? what would be the development of that parish. Among the priests who, would, was, who, who were also there, and in other cases, other priests in Bacola, I know that they have been also funding no? uh, seminarians to become priests, and even would help the priests no? in, their, in their parishes. And I, I would say that we also see that the, the priests that are being held are those priests who actually not assigned in Four parishes. Or oh, in many occasions, it also help many people who are in diligence no? in, in the process. So, ang, I, uh, what I really experienced with Ipatri is uh, when I was a priest already, was her her presence no? shows really uh, showed really how she cared. No? For anyone, I, I I myself experienced it from her that uh, she was not so thoughtful no? and then very generous, very very charitable. One time, si nanay nagkato kami sa simbahan, nagsiling siya nga nagkato sa sapari, nagsiling siya nga siguro may pagguro ini ng simbahan, mabutang tadi isa karon para sa mga Eskwilahan sa mga bata, nagagmay. Kaya siya nga, ah, ang protestante gani, magkapatindog sila sa kinder school sa kabataan na ah, kita father na hindi ka makakwante. Ang pare, why did ka tingo? Kaya kahit bano ang pare mo, mabudlay kung magpatindog, wala kwarta, wala ano. Pero sa nagsiling ko dahil, nai, oh, why man na sila igasto? Nga, sige lang. Kaya atong ginapangitaan ang magastuhan. Isa sa benefactor sa Centro for Mission Center, ang muto si the late Nanay Patring Hagalosa. Ginapadala niya ang mga kabataan sa liyang mga tinawo, ang mga preschool diri. Kag siya ang nagabayad sa monthly tuition and the uniform. Recently, we have a project now, the Resurrection Chapel. Um, project by uh, Nani Patring. Amo na kitaan man na daw kinahanglanon ang Resurrection Chapel para nga makabulig man sa mga pigado na mundo nga mga utod kung may kalisod sila. Initani siya nga project din kuha ini sa mga donasyon Sang pagsilibrar namun sang akon bana sang amon golden wedding anniversary, akong ginsiling nga imbis sang regalo, donation na lang para makapatindog kami sang Resurrection Chapel. So amunan ni Karon ang ginahimo diri namun sa amon barangay para nga ang mga tawo man may butangan sila nga maayo man nga lugar kung may ara sila sa ila kalisod. So we're very thankful for this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, project of manufacturing.
In the Redemptorist Mission in Sagay in the late 1960s, the icon touched the life of my grandmother. My grandmother was touched by the icon and became a devotee whose devotion is seen concretely in her life, in the way she raised her children, and in the way she helped others. She is a devotee with a mission. The icon touched the life of Patria, and in the process, she also became an icon to her children, grandchildren, and to other people. The icon of our mother of perpetual health invites us to come to Jesus, the perpetual health, and in the process, Mary also invites us to become an icon to others.